Valley and today we're going to talk, be talking about the neck and why it's becoming kind of the new pandemic, the new wave of problems is down neck pain. So when we think about how we're using technology nowadays, especially with the whole work from home order, we're not having our standing workstations, we're not having our fancy chairs anymore, we don't necessarily have all of the monitors, all of the keyboards, all of um, the mouses that we used to have, and we're really just kind of hunched over our devices, whether it's your phone, your tablet, your laptop, maybe you're like sinking into the couch. All of this is putting a lot of pressure onto our neck. So we're tending to see a lot of people kind of with a forward jutting of the head because it's like we're tending to look down. Now we're putting extra weight and extra pressure here on the neck as we do so. So we really wanna think about lifting and raising up our devices, whether it's your phone, your laptop, your computer again and just really pulling the head back. It's almost like you're doing a double chin, but not quite. In the next five minutes, we're gonna do a quick stretch of the neck and how to kind of relieve some of that stress and tension if you are feeling any neck pain. We're gonna get started today sitting in a comfortable seated position. So whether you're in a chair, on the couch, or on the floor, I want you guys to sit up really tall. And we'll just start with taking a nice deep breath in. And then open your mouth, let everything go. Take another deep breath in, another deep breath out. Sit up a little bit taller and then maybe turn your chin towards your left shoulder and then drop your chin towards your shoulder so you're gazing at your left shoulder here and then take your right hand and I want you to press it into your thigh. Awesome, feel the neck muscles and the side of the neck right on the right side start to really start to open here and breathe. Bring your left hand down beside your left thigh, right onto the ground, and then bend a little bit into your elbow and lean a little bit to the left and notice how the, how the pose changes and continue to press that right hand down into the right thigh. Awesome, you can stay right here or start to hover your right hand and then press it down towards the ground. Yes, yeah, so you may be able to press a little bit kind of lower here and then you can side bend a little bit more to the left. Awesome, nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Can you relax your ear towards your shoulder just a little bit more and then notice how the stretch changes. Now take your right hand to your right shoulder and then we're going to take the shoulder and turn it across. We're kind of pointing towards the left knee here and then reach the right arm. Relax your ear just a little bit more and breathe. Feel this nice big stretch. Awesome. Big breath in. Big breath out. Awesome, sweep your right hand back towards the right, and then this time hover the fingertips just above the ground, almost like you're pressing the middle finger down, and then take your gaze straight forward. Drop the ear towards the shoulder and just pause here for a moment. If it feels okay, maybe you can start to turn your head slightly up towards the sky and breathe. It should feel really good on your neck here. And then bring your chin back towards your 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 shoulder and then bring your right hand back to your thigh and then slowly come up. Yeah, and you might feel a little lightheaded, that's pretty normal, but just take a moment to shake your head no, noticing the difference between the right and the left. Let's do the right side, so bring the left hand to the left thigh, take your gaze over to your right shoulder and then drop your chin towards your shoulder and breathe. Work the right hand down to the ground and then press firmly into that left thigh. Maybe you walk that right hand out and then bend into the elbow again. Feel the muscles in your left side of your neck. Just start to breathe into it. Yeah, you can make this as intense or as less intense as you need to. And then hover that left hand and press the hand down as you bend a little bit deeper into the right elbow. Bring the right hand to the, or the left hand to the left shoulder. Take the elbow across towards the right knee and then reach the arm. Can you relax your head just a little bit more? Breathe, feel these nice big muscles working. Awesome, sweep the arm back over to the left, press the fingertips down, so you're reaching for that middle finger, middle finger towards the ground, and then take your gaze to center. Relax the ear towards the shoulder just a little bit more. And then take the gaze up towards the sky, if that feels okay, this is too much strain, you can always take the gaze back down, but continue to reach that left hand. Awesome, then straighten your right arm, come up and come up really gently and shake your head no. And then nod your head yes. And we'll just do one more quick stretch here. We're gonna tuck the chin and just kind of relax here. Interlace the hands back behind you. 
right on top of the skull, and then just let the weight of the hands kind of drop here. Keep the spine sitting up really tall. Now we're not pulling down with the hands, but we're just feeling the weight of the hands here in this moment. Big breath in, big breath out. Awesome, one more, inhale and exhale. Now slide the hands a little bit lower to where the skull and the neck meet and then start to take your gaze up. Keep your spine tall and start to lean back into your head. Lift the neck a little bit longer and then can you lean back just a little bit more. So let your hands support the weight of your head here. And then come back through center and let's release the hands down and then just notice how you feel maybe you move your head and neck around being gentle here shaking no maybe taking some circles just noticing how you feel feel for this moment right here right now great job for